Hi, Adyash73 here with part 16 of the Crash Time walkthrough, case 7, old friends, missions 6 through to 10. So we're straight into mission 6. As always, if you don't need to see this mission, there's just one in particular that you're looking for. You can use the click jumps in the description just to forward yourself to that part of this video walkthrough. So this mission is a frustrating one or one of the more frustrating ones. First thing you need to do is to catch up with the vehicle. Uh, he's a little way ahead of us and uh, you do require, or you will be required to drive at quite a speed in order to catch up to him within time. Now although there isn't a timer or a clock on the screen, oh that was close, um, you are required to do the transfer across which means you've got to get into the blue box beside the vehicle and because that is a bit frustrating whether it's because it's on hard or whether it's just the game itself I've always found this type of mission a bit frustrating, a bit sensitive, anything with the blue boxes as I've said before in this walkthrough. Um, it looked to me by the time I've I've caught up to him and got it transferred across that there wasn't a great deal of time left. You'll see for yourself when we get to the end of this portion of the video or this mission. So I've caught up to the ambulance now and now I've got to try and get alongside it and get into that blue box for a total of five seconds. So getting alongside him is okay. No joy, what's going on? What you know, what am I doing wrong? So I follow him again and all of a sudden the blue box has appeared. So this is the section you've got to get in there. Managed to do it okay. Get the successful and he drives off the edge there. So I imagine you've got to do it before that point. Moving on to mission seven of old friends. This is a checkpoint race. Again, you're required to get to the six checkpoints within the allotted time. Again, you can see I'm putting my foot down, I'm not hanging about. Bit of a smash, but didn't slow me up too much. I was able to maintain a reasonably good speed. Got the cutscene, as I've mentioned before, I've kept those in, I didn't bother turning them off. You can do it if you wish. Very untidy there. So onto the autobahn, always a good opportunity to get up to speed. Bit clumsy, I did that quite a few times. That corner did seem to catch me out. I was never prepared to break hard enough to get around it cleanly, I guess, because I knew that I could keep my foot down, take a bit too much speed and sort of be naturally forced around in the direction I needed to go. Bit neater there, a bit more how it should be done. Not much further to go in this mission now. Here we are back at the base. So you should know where you've got to go. But this time it's slightly different. And there we are, mission over. And so we start mission eight of the case Old Friends. This mission requires you to initially catch up to the vehicle and then uh, tap him, knock him, collide with him 18 times. So a good opportunity 
to put into place those skills that I mentioned earlier on on this type of missions where you get alongside and try and snake into him rather than tapping him from behind. So we've got him in our sights. First contact made. See, I'm trying to stay alongside him. See that method of staying alongside is a bit more effective, get the opportunity of getting a couple of hits in most times, not every time but most times. Almost totally lose it, on a previous attempt I did fall off the cliff there I must admit. So he's gained some distance on me, not too much of a worry. Um, there is a final destination that you need to get to, so it is quite important not to waste too much time. There we are, that's all 18 hits. Now it's just a case of not letting him get too far ahead and uh, ending up at the final destination, the final location that you're going to. So don't worry about trying to do any damage on him, doesn't make any difference at all. That was me, I was trying to stop him, seeing if that was part of this mission, but it's not. When I originally played this I hadn't worked out that I needed to just let him get to where he's got to go, but I had to try and stop him. So there I try the same thing again, I try and give him some damage but you don't need to do that, don't worry about it. Not much further, he's turning into where we need to go. As soon as we get down here, it's the end of the mission. Now what's he doing? Well Moving into mission nine, you get to drive this big military vehicle. This mission is just a follow mission, no need to try and damage him, no need to try and spin him out and stop him, basically you just got to keep up with him and just follow him around the course. Now when I played this the first time I thought it was a damage type mission, so I laid into him quite heavily, tried to inflict as much damage as possible, but uh, that didn't get me anywhere. Tried to spin him, that didn't get me anywhere. It was only on the third attempt that I realised that I just needed to follow him round the track, so don't make the same mistakes I did. I also managed to unlock the reverse achievement in this uh, mission. That will be coming up as an inserted clip on the right hand side, you'll see that shortly. What happened for me is if you look closely at that screen um, when it pops up is that I managed to glitch him underneath the racetrack. I don't know how I managed to do it but uh, he sort of got wedged up on the right hand side of the track and then when he respawned, he respawned underneath the track. So you'll see me reversing um, 
and to where he should be but he's not there you can see his green arrow appearing up and down but there's nothing else there so just goes to show this game has got some bugs in it you can find them I did find some more bugs when I was doing a mission after this where you drive the little detonator bomb RC vehicle that kept falling through the world but uh, up until this point I'd experienced no real major glitches So there we are on the right hand side, you can just see the footage of where I get the reverse. It was just on this section up here. Again there is an annotation that will link through to a video that shows a whole host of these achievements popping, these little random ones. Not much further left on this now. So we've been on a little tour in these vehicles, all very entertaining. Come round this final corner, and that's pretty much it. Now we're into mission 10. This mission sees us back in the sort of jeep type vehicle. First thing we've got to do is catch up with the armoured vehicle that we were just racing in in the previous mission. And what we've got to do is we've got to use the RC bomb detonator uh, vehicle to explode six bombs underneath that armoured vehicle. There's no other way of slowing it down. So the first thing to do is to catch up with him quite quickly. You want to drive quite quickly try and avoid any mistakes so you can catch up just see him in a distance now so when you feel you're close enough uh, you want to hit the RT button to release your little remote control vehicle got maximum speed you can see I'm at maximum speed makes it a little bit frustrating and get ready to hit the RT button not RT button, sorry, the right thumbstick button to trigger the explosion once it's underneath the vehicle. I would suggest not releasing the vehicle, the little bomb vehicle up the slopes. The handling on it is very, very frustrating. It doesn't really drive like a normal vehicle would. You're better off saving your opportunities for somewhere like now on the main roads. It handles okay on the main road. So I think, right, I'll cut cross country, I'll try and get him that way. Catch up, and another explosion, so that's two done. He's veered off into the side barrier there, so I think, oh, I'll try and get him again. But handling that little vehicle is a bit of a pain. Fire the explosion, and that does count trouble is now I've got to try and catch up with him again. Straddled on the barrier, you've probably experienced a lot of that already. It is a very frustrating part of this game. So it's quite a long way off in the distance and when I was playing this mission I was thinking oh am I going to be able to catch up with him, am I going to do it in time. You can see we're just passing sort of 60 odd percent completed and I thought oh this is looking like I might need to retry this mission. But because this jeep's quite quick, you can catch up with him quite quickly. Flick into the little RC vehicle. It's number four. Number five follows quite quickly. That leaves me thinking, right, not a great deal left to do. And here we are, final one's on its way. And there we are, the final explosion, and that's it. 3 for 60G, the achievement picture's showing, and then the final little medal that you get at the end. And that's it, all wrapped up. I hope you found this walkthrough useful. By all means, check out the other walkthroughs in this series, or have a look at my channel for other video solutions, walkthroughs, and vlogs. As always, thanks for watching and listening, and take care.